making it a fun place to ride a horse. Now we've got Sarah, Gum, uh, Sarah Mora, rather, and Polaris. Yeah, we keep seeing these big horses, Jenny. I want something I small know. to just rip around. Nippy. But she's cruising. Look at that horse's stride. She doesn't look like she's wasting any time with Larry, who is a horse on that path to Kentucky when we talk about horses who are using this competition to prepare. Beautiful shot to number three. Just caught that right out of rhythm. That's what you want to see. The horse just continuing the rhythm over the fence, not dwelling in the air. Now going to number four on the prepared footing. So a little change in the ground there. Another well, we round of the water jump. We talked yesterday about how this horse is an absolute cross-country machine. Beast. You see how he just, it's so easy for him. He does it for fun. Yeah. Okay, so short five. I'm waiting for that four. We're gonna see, we're gonna see the four. Oh, we're yeah, gonna see the I think four. So. I thought Doug was crazy earlier, but now that you see it, yeah, it's maybe, definitely maybe he it's knew doable. Something. Taking the right hand option there, galloping up that little hill to the right of the bank, which is no doubt the quicker way to get there. And it is just really close there to the ropes and the crowd, so if you have a horse who's a little spooky and might might not be quite sure about that, some of these younger horses, for example, then yeah. you might opt not to do that. Give the horse a little bit more time going that longer route. Uh, cruising around to number eight. Nice. Deep shot there, just added one there, so hopefully we see this next one right out of stride. We've only seen the left-hand option, and when you see it from the Would she take the right-hand option there, Jenny? What she took think? the right-hand side. All right. This would be the horse to do it on. He's as straight as an arrow, and it looks like he likes the job. Here we go to the place where Nielsen were at a Silva had trouble. Ah, beautiful shot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Short six, so maybe yeah. we'll get five there, too. I don't know. I definitely think we're going to start to see yeah, five there. Yeah, I think so. Back through the water jump. She's ripping now. Sarah's definitely up the pace here, coming to this jump. All right, we go back to number 15, the John Deere table. Beautiful shot there, just a little touch in front there for old Larry. And now Sarah's ripping past us. She's smiling, she's having a good time. She's saying, come on, buddy. Somebody's got to buy Mama a new pair of shoes. There's <laughs> money on the line. Ah, easy one, two, three, four, five. Really tidy five there. So she's definitely chasing that optimum time of four minutes, 12 seconds. We yeah. know it's catchable. So she's done some really handy turns yeah. to the right-hand corner. I got to think, and she's landing and scraping. I mean, she's cruising. I got to think she's going to be a little quicker than the, the three or the two boys that we saw go first here. That was Buck and Waylon. She's really taking time oh, to set up one. for her line there. Beautiful shot there. Now she'll go around to the Aiken Horse Park Foundation Owl Hole and then gallop on down to the Palmetto Golf Club as a final fence. Come on, Sarah. Okay, Come so on. we Give think she's been faster. Want. I think, she's, we think been she's been faster. I think she's right on it. I also think she's been more creative and efficient with some of her lines. Yeah. And she's landing and going exactly where she wants. You can see her gap in the rain and saying, "Come on!" Oh, oh big shot at the last a flyer one. Oh, taking at the Atta last. boy. Sarah Gumbiner and Polaris complete big pats for Larry, as he's known to his friends. I mean, you see his ears cracked. He's just absolutely having the time. He's got to be out thrilled there. with that. And what a horse to do something like this on. He, he's got a big range of stride. He clearly loves his job. And he was as handy as anything making those turns. That looked easy. And this horse is a really light type. He's tall, but he looks to have a lot of blood in his pedigree. I know those Windstar babies all carry quite a lot of blood. So he's really showing what he's about today. So you oh, love that, Alex. Absolutely. Big hugs. Ah, she's stoked. So Sarah absolutely over the moon with Polaris. And what a great round. She's got to be just thrilled about that. And I, I don't know Sarah from Ocala, so I'm assuming she's up here in Aiken. So again, yeah. a great hometown rider here. Now we go to a Joni bit about Morris. What it was like out there. He was awesome. What a great practice for Kentucky. You know, a lot of times you really only get practice galloping and jumping, but in here there's so many tight combinations and you got to be quick and you got to be fast and you got to be accurate. And he really brought it to the table. He's a good boy. Was it as fun as it looked? It was awesome. It was really, really fun. It was good.
Good. Congratulations. Good luck at Kentucky. Thank you.